Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be going to a Japanese bookstore, but first I have something very exciting to open. It's finally here. This big box. I can't wait to see what's inside. I mean, I do remember, but I'm just excited to see how everything looks. Here it is, this is everything I got. I got two shoulder bags and they're from Sanrio. And then I have this little bag, two little bags, to put like anime merchandise. And I'll show you what I mean. So here are all the things I got. And let me explain to you the first thing I got, which are these kept bags. There are little like display bags that have its own keychain. So you could display like acrylic stands or like some of your favorite anime merchandise, badges, pins, whatever. So let's take a look. Here they are, they're so nice. Here's the little keychain that you can hang on, like your bag or your purse. And this is how it looks like. It's called Kept Since 1989. And I got two because I got one for my best friend. Let me show you how it looks if you put something inside. You open it like this. And I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it, but there's like folders or like a little slip in. So if you have like an acrylic stand and I have the Sukuna little pin thing, little clip, you could clip it on like this on one of the clear sleeves. When you close it, it protects it and you can display it on your little bag. Isn't it so nice? So if you like collecting anime merchandise, you could use this to display it. The reason why I'm thinking about going to the Japanese bookstore is because they have a ton of anime merchandise, especially from Jujutsu Kaisen. I think they have an event going on right now, so I want to find Sukuna stuff and just fill it. The last two items that I got are from Sanrio, and they're called like idol shoulder bags. So this character is for my best friend, and then I got My Melody for myself. So let's open the My Melody one. My favorite character from Sanrio is actually Cinnamon Roll, but um, I didn't really like the shade of blue that they had for this bag, so I got my Melody instead because I find myself wearing a little bit more pink than I do blue. Let's open this up. So pretty! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Let me take out this cover. So it's big enough so you could put like your favorite plushie from an idol. For me, I bought a bunch of Jujutsu Kaisen plushies. You could see that in my last video. And I'm planning on putting Sukun in here because if you can't tell, he's my favorite character. So it comes with a little pearl handle, and then it does come in a shoulder strap. My Melody on lining on the back. Oh, and I like the little gold print you could see in the corner. So, label, and then it does come with like keychains or like a um, handbag keychain. This is how the little keychains look. This is my melody. And it does come with these two tags where you can write your name on the back. So I guess if you lose it, you could write your name. <laughs> so let me open the inside and show you like how it's gonna look. So this is the side with like the grid lining. I think this is where you put your plushie in because it's a lot more spacious. And then on the opposite side where there's the My Melody lining, you could display something more flat, it seems. So how it looks, it comes out. That's nice. I guess you could use it as like split sides if you want to display like acrylics on this side and then the plushie on this side, you could do that. So let me put my plushie inside. I hope he fits. 
So here are the two plushies that I have here with me that we're going to try putting it in. We have Sukuna and Gojo. I have, it looks like you can fit two in here, so let's try. This is how he looks inside. Let's put the second one. Shoving their heads in there. Mm -hmm. It fits perfectly, and you can put your plushies on display. Doesn't it look so adorable? They're best friends. I'm definitely wearing this when I go to my next anime convention or whenever I go out. And the best part about this bag is that they do have a clasp on the sides here, on the short end, so that if you want, you could display your plushie vertically instead of horizontally. That's the best part. Alright guys, I'll see you later. We're gonna go hunting and look for things to fill this little bag with, especially if we can find little acrylic keychains or little um, button badges. I'll see you soon. Yay, we're finally here. This is such a huge bookstore and they probably have every manga series you could possibly find. When you enter in from the first floor, there's a ton of books and little gifts like Sunny Angels. I don't collect Sunny Angels, but I know a lot of people are a huge fan of them and here they cost $11.50. They have a whole wall dedicated to blind boxes, and I think this one's super cute. I love the cats and the costume. Once I start collecting blind boxes, I can't stop. Like, especially if I'm looking for one particular item. <sighs> I also love going here because you can find many gift ideas. Let's head on to the third floor where we're going to find a lot of anime merchandise and manga. I'm on the hunt for Jujutsu Kaisen items, but let's see what else they have around. There's all kinds of things on this floor ranging from sorts of mangas, anime figure, blind boxes, and so much more. Ah, I already see Nana! This is such a good anime, and I started watching the anime before I started reading the manga. It's a great story, and I recommend trying out both. I already see a huge row of anime merchandise. I already see Jujutsu Kaisen, and it looks like they're in their baseball uniform. It looks like a bag clip. They have Demon Slayer bag clip, and they have the other characters as well. And Fairy Tale. I also see Chainsaw Man, Sailor Moon, and Spy X Family. They also have playing cards from Anime and Hollow Live. So this is the one for Spy X Family. It feels pretty thin and it cost $5.99. Everywhere you look, it's just endless amounts of anime, manga, and Japanese magazines. I love getting these art books. It's so nice to look at and I love how it's sealed, but if you do want to take a look inside, you could bring it to the information desk so that you can look at the contents before purchasing. I see they have Jujutsu Kaisen album from the opening and the ending. I don't have a CD player or anything that accepts a CD disc, but it's nice to see that they have it here. I'm so glad to see they finally have the Attack on Titan pins in color this time. I've been looking at the shelf and they're usually black and white like this. Oh my god, do I see this huge Gojo figure. Ora, ora. Ora, ora. Ora. Oh my god! So here are some of the figures for display and the ones that you can purchase are below this shelf. Oh, and another Sukuna figure. He can take all my money. Anyway, here are some of the figures that I was talking about that they have for purchase. 
I could not believe my eyes when I saw this Mo Dao Zushi illustration book. Whenever they have this illustration book, I buy it immediately because I love this on me. This is such a cute Waddle D figure. I guess it's a blind box? I found the Jujutsu Kaisen jackpot. Oh my gosh, there's so much here. They have a lot of plushy keychains. <laughs> I really like Toji here. He looks so cute. They just announced they had Jujutsu Kaisen merchandise here two days ago, and I already see a lot of stuff gone. Most of the Jujutsu Kaisen stuff they have is from season two, the first part. I'm so happy right now, they have so much here. Ugh. Just as I'm standing here, people are quickly grabbing whatever they like because it's going out fast. I love this round keychain plush. It's so adorable. The event they have going on is that if you spend $15 or more for specifically Jujutsu Kaisen items, you get a free random postcard. And you know how much I love stationery, so I'm really aiming to get one of those postcards. Well, I haven't seen that. Other than Jujutsu Kaisen, they have other series like Spy X Family. This whole section has a bunch of blind items. So it's all up to chance. I like him. This is Other than Jujutsu Kaisen promotional event, they have a Horimiya event. The Horimiya selection is pretty small, but they seem to have a bigger one for Bungo Stray Dogs right underneath. I really enjoyed watching Horimiya, it's such a good anime. They have other anime merchandise like stickers, pins, keychains, and accessories. This is really cute. They have Power's little clip-on horns. Ugh, this is the cutest keychain plush I've seen so far. They have each individual character and you could attach them with their hands. I'm so glad to see they're growing their Danmei section and light novel section. Something on my to read list is this book called Stars of Chaos by Priest and it's a Donmi. Also in stock they have Heaven's Official Blessing book 8. When I was walking around throughout the store, I noticed that they had a smaller section of Don Mei called the New Edition and Collector's Edition for Don Mei. And just look at the cover art. I honestly love this a lot more than the English cover art. Don't get me wrong, they're both really nice, but this one just caught my attention immediately. For the collector's edition, I noticed that they had Heaven's Official Blessing, Mo Dao Zushi, and Thousand Autumns. If you enjoy BL or Don Mei, I highly recommend giving a try for all three of the series. When you head towards the back of the store, you could see that they had a huge selection of clearance items. Now, I've been here to this bookstore multiple times, and I haven't seen a clearance section, so this was quite a new surprise for me. And I noticed that they had a lot of Spy X Family merchandise, a little bit of chainsaw, but it seems like it's most of the blind bag items. It looks like majority of their clearance items are all 50% off. And it looks like it's in good condition to me. 
I do enjoy Spy X Family. It's not my like most favorite series, but I think it's really cute and enjoyable. What do you think about Spy X Family? Have you seen it yet? I'm just sort of sorting through the pile because I'm looking for anime merchandise. Stationery? That's like my favorite type of anime merchandise to collect. In terms of stationery, I like washi tape, folders, some stickers, and memo pads or memo sheets. It looks like they have this blanket or a towel. I don't know. Okay, so it looks like most of the blind bag items are 50% off and other miscellaneous things like these cards are 20% off. Right next to the clearance were these beautiful Tianguan Zufu posters. When I was walking around, I noticed they had a webtoon section and I saw Orv. Oh my gosh, Orv is like my favorite webtoon right now. I'm currently reading it. It's so good. In the webtoon section, they also had this BL called The Dangerous Convenience Store. It's so cute. Such a good read. Really enjoy it. And look at that a Juicy's face. I love the little emote. <laughs> If you're a One Piece fan, you're in luck because you should definitely come here. They have a ton of wanted posters from the One Piece characters and it was just rows and rows of like posters for $24.99. They also have One Piece pins, which is pretty good quality for $15. I think I'm gonna get one for my friend because I really like how they design these character art. The only pins I had left from Jujutsu Kaisen is Nobara, which she's underrated, but she's like really cool for $10. Over here in this area, they had the new releases. They have volume 21 for Jujutsu Kaisen for $11.99. Chainsaw Man volume 13. A manga I'm currently reading is definitely Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm keeping up weekly and I'm obsessed, especially with chapter 250. It was so good. No spoilers, but so good. I love how the series just keeps getting better and better. I love how Jujutsu Kaisen quickly became like one of my top three animes slash manga. Give me your top three manga that you're currently reading down below in the comments. The gasp I let out when I saw the Sukuna sticker. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I love it. It's $3.50. Very tempting. It's so cool to see they had anime stickers and gaming stickers. Speaking of gaming, if you enjoy my content and you like gaming, I recently opened a new channel called V2NI, and I hope you check it out. I recently played a game called Love in Deep Space. It's a super spicy, exciting game. So I hope to see you there. The art for these stickers are so nice. Oh, you can stick them on your luggage? I never thought of that. They have special boxes for Jojo too. I'm not really too sure what's in it. Kind of. What if one of these days I just put my work badge inside like an anime cover or something? Would you do that? They have more of the Gojo figures here too, the one where he does hollow purple, and it looks really nice. It's massive. I found the treasure box for all Dame here. And they keep growing the shelf. I'm so happy to see that. I've been to a lot of bookstores in New York City and this place definitely has the most in stock for Donme. My favorite Donme is this one. It's called The Husky and His White Cat Shizun. So sorry if I mispronounced that, but it is so good. I love it. And they had Mo Daozu Shi little blind box squishies or plushie. I have to get this right now 
I really hope I get Lan Wangji. At the back of the third floor, they had all the figures that you could possibly imagine from One Piece, Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen, and here's one of Buggy from One Piece. Look at this Levi figure. Like, I just want it not only for the figure, but for the packaging. Like, do you see the gold foil on the side? Look at that. Perfect. Chef's kiss. My favorite character from Attack on Titan is definitely Erwin. I'm so glad they sell lookup figures here. They are the best and they are adorable. I love the art for them. The ones with popular characters sell out the fastest here. It's kind of crazy and it costs $45 here. And here's another Gojo figure. Looks pretty cool. They have more One Piece figures. I see Law and Ace. They have this pretty cool Gojo figure where you can change his expression and his hands. Only just for a total of $65. Wow. That's a lot. And of course, Sukuna, my husbando. His figure costs $70. Wow. What can we say? <laughs> Oh, and Yuji. I wish I could give him the biggest hug after watching season 2. The anime figure selection here is endless. Just shelves on shelves, rows on rows on anime figures. They have a good amount of Jujutsu Kaisen figures. I'm seeing a lot of Inumaki right now. They have an enormous amount of figural bag clip. They have One Piece, Attack on Titan seems to be almost out. This One Piece one would be perfect. I'm thinking about getting one for my friend. It costs $6. It's great for $6. I was expecting it to cost a little bit more. You really lose so much track of time in the store. I just can't believe it. How much they have in stock. Everything is very well organized. It's clean. If you're ever in New York, definitely come check out the store. I'm so excited for them to release the English volume 25 because it's my favorite part and I especially can't wait to see it animated. They have this Attack on Titan magazine. It comes with stickers, I think a poster, all sorts of goodies for $36.99. Still can't believe it ended. Such a good series. Right when you're about to leave the anime section, they have a bunch of Genshin merchandise too, with pins, keychains, and so much more. Other than the third floor with all the anime merchandise and manga, the lowest floor has a bunch of stationery. And Kirby, of course. Nora! 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 They have a lot of Sanrio merchandise and these cute sticker books, they're adorable little containers and this makeup bag. If they had a makeup bag in cinnamon roll or Kurilakuma, I'd totally get it. This one's for $49.99. If you want high quality writing pens, get them here. How much time did I spend at the store? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you, but I could tell you I was here when the sun was up and now it's gone. This is everything I got from my little shopping adventure today. Let's open everything up. Let's start off with my biggest purchase from Pash Illustration File with the cover of Mo Dao Zushi. It is big. Like I can't even tell you how big this illustration file is. It's huge and Look at how big these pages are. They're amazing quality. Look at that spicy picture. Okay, and <laughs> anytime I see a Pash illustration file, I get it every time because it's worth it. It does include a gigantic poster, which I will show later on. You can see that they include other anime illustration. Most of these I honestly don't recognize. Do you recognize any of them? If you do, let me know in the comments. 
I see Trigun, Mob Psycho, Tokyo Revengers, and that's all. Here's the best part, the gigantic poster, and I'm talking about gigantic. It won't even fit in the screen. Like it just keeps going and going. All of it won't fit into the frame, it's crazy. Other than the gigantic Modao Zushi Pash illustration file from 2023, I got the blind box and I'm so excited to open this. Praying for Lan Wangji. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so we end up getting Jin Ling. Here he is. He looks so cute. Oh my gosh, it is so squishy. And so soft. I can't wait to open this. This is the One Piece bag clip that I got for my friend. I could not tell you what's inside. I have no idea. Even just feeling it alone and crunching the bag. But I hope she likes it. I'm saving my most favorite stuff for last. So I got this Gojo and Ghetto acrylic stand. I really like the art style. The chibis are so cute. It cost $26.99. I can't wait to put this on my anime shelf. I'm even more excited to open these acrylic stands because I really want Sukuna, Megami, Yuji's cute, Nanami's cute, Gojo's cute. There he is! Ah, oh, I love his expression. Let's open it. Ready? Three, two, one. It is green. It is Inumaki! Oh, he looks so cute. I'm so happy with this one. Next one. Okay, come on, come on. Tsukuno, please, please. Let's see what it is. It's purple. <gasps> Maki. Wait, why does she look? She looks kind of silly here. I kind of like it. <laughs> Come on, gotcha gods. Come on, Sukuna. Last one, third one. Third one's a charm. It has to be. Come on, let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. Yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. <gasps> Who's yellow? Nanami! Oh my god, he's adorable. <gasps> I'm happy with this one. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. If you want me to be more happy, please hit like and subscribe.